at five surveillance cameras from an area business caught the crash on video. Now, police say the area is pretty dark, and business owners say there aren't many crosswalks around there, making it pretty dangerous. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in Northeast El Paso. I am standing now on the west side of Dyer Street, where police say Brian Velasquez was crossing Dyer from east to west when he was hit by a Chevy Silverado that was headed southbound on Dyer. Now, business owners in this area tell me that this is a spot where pedestrians frequently cross Dyer Street. They say they've witnessed multiple accidents and believe that there should be more crosswalks in the area. There's no crosswalks or any uh, traffic lights, so most of the... Uh pedestrians they just walk across the street. Brian Chandler's family has owned an auto repair shop on Dyer for the past 30 years. Right across the street from where 13 year old Brian Velasquez was hit and killed Tuesday night. This video was caught on the auto shop surveillance cameras. You can see the moment when Velasquez crosses the street and the vehicle approaches him. As you can see in the video and according to police this is a poorly lit area. Without that light being on there's no way you can possibly come in at 45 miles an hour to see anybody crossing that area because it's completely dark. And even darker on Tuesday night because there was a street light out in the area he was hidden. You can see that the city of El Paso's maintenance crews were fixing the light Wednesday morning. Now this is an area where many people cross the street not at designated crosswalks. The owner of the auto repair shop says the closest crosswalk is a block down the street and he believes there needs to be more. I would say, you know, now it's time for the city to step up and put some traffic traffic lights right here. If they can look at the traffic incident reports in these two particular areas, you'll probably find several hundred of traffic accidents in the last 10 years. We reached out to the city of El Paso and they told us that they were doing maintenance on street lights in this area on Dyer and that they noticed that that particular street light was out and fixed it this morning. However, they did not comment on whether or not that was fixed directly due to the incident that happened last night. Now, also, EPISD says they are offering counseling to any students who may be struggling with the death of Velasquez and also his family made a GoFundMe page. You can go ahead and find a link to that on KTSM.com. Reporting live in Northeast El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. All right, Shelby, thank you very much.